right, I'm back with a, another experiment. Uh, this time a thin film borax membrane. And what I've done is coat of uh, graphite and <coughs> glue on one side, thin coat of, of uh, uh, glue and titanium dioxide on the other side on a plain piece of paper first and then I dipped it in the, uh, the borax solution last to set everything. A little bit of graphite on our graph oil here. And slip our membrane on. Of water on it to moisten it up here a little bit. I let this dry for about two hours after I made it to make sure the glue was set good. All right, and we have. and slowly dropping as usual and we have ooh, 20 20 milliamps and uh, 0.916 and dropping Looks like it's going to stop at 81 or 82 or something. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Alright, I'm back. And it did stop about 8.82. So, 8.25. Let's do that. Alrighty, our amps are 3, 2, 1, 22. Alright, we're going up. Alright, I'm back, and it looks like we're going to have another little drop in amps, or uh, volts, we'll call it uh, 0.792, and 7.92, and our amps are 3, 2, 1, 24 that time, so we're getting climbing right on up on the amps, alright, back for the fourth discharge and you can see our bolts now they've stopped dropping and we're starting to climb again so we're at 0.794 right now and oh, going to 795 0.795 and our amps are 3, 2, 1 24 again it was at 25. I'll be back. Alright, back again for number 5. And we got another increase in volts. We're now back to 805. 806 and the amps are 3, 2, 1. 27. Alright, we're climbing. Let's see what happens today. Alright back again and uh, with another voltage increase no, looks like it's going to hold right there 823 right. and our amps are 3, 2, 1 27 let's do it again see if we can get 30 out of it I'll be back alright back again with uh, Number what? One, two, three, four, five, six, number seven. All right, we'll call it eight, four, two. And our amps are. Let's see. Three, two, one, thirty-one. Yes. So we're still increasing. 
Alright, back again. And we'll, this time we got that 0.85. There we are, 0.85. Oh, a little jump up there to 82 and back down. Alright, boys, so 0.851. Let's discharge it and see what we got. 851. And 3, 2, 1. 25. Alright, we'll have to do it one more time and see if it goes up again or starts on its back down. Alright, I'm back with number 8. And our voltage has climbed a little bit again. We're at 857. Two. Uh huh. This one's still increasing, and you can see that it's going to be a it's going to be a longer cycles to get to the peak on this one. So we started at 20 milliamps. This will peak somewhere between 40 and 60, and after eight cycles, we're at 32. So and we should be starting to run low on water, but I'm going to run it a few more times. Uh, back again for number nine. And we'll see what we got. We have another voltage increase. And 865. And our amps are 3, 2, 1. 27 again. I'm guessing this cell can use some water. Plot all the, the watt curve on this and we'll see what it uh, what it's doing. Alright, I'm back again. I uh, let the last time charge back up after I thought I was done and, uh, and it charged up higher and then I measured it the amps went up again I said shit this thing isn't done uh, it's still uh, gaining so I figured I better do it one more time and then we'll get this one on film so you can see that we're at uh, 88.1 now 0.882 and are 3, 2, 1, 33. Uh huh. This thing is still gaining in power. We might as well, uh, we're dozen runs now. It's been two hours plus, easy. Uh, no water yet. And but we're gathering some good data points. I might as well run it out out a few more. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back with number 13. We're at point eight eight four. So let's see what we got. Alright, and our amps are 3, 2, 1, 30, oh, 35. Alright, back for cycle 14. We made it back to point eight nine. Still no water. And this got to have been three hours by now. So we're running. Let's see what our amps are. Alright. Three, two, one. Thirty-five. Same. And at a higher voltage. So we're still gaining in power. Point eighty-nine. Alright. Back for number fifteen. We're going to measure it right there. Point eight nine two. Three, two, one, forty-one. How about that? This son of a bitch is still going up. Damn. That means we've got to do it again. I'll be back. All right, I'm back again for number sixteen. We'll go with eight nine eight nine two. It's about to flip. Is it going to go up again? 3, 2, 1, 35. Went down a little bit. But that don't mean it can't come back and go higher the next time. We've seen that happen, right? Alright, I'm back for discharge number 18. And our volts are back up to 
892 and going to 893 so we're still on the slight increase and see what our amps are see whether it continues to go down or back up okay and three two one thirty five stayed the same all right i think at this point i think at this point uh, it's probably low on water i mean it ought to be it's been four it could even be going on five hours so and i know that i can i've done it before you put a few drops of water along the edge over here on these flaps and uh, let it soak underneath of it and uh, the cell comes back so let's do it one more time with some water this time and see if it increases in amps if I take the cell apart then it messes up the crystal structure so this is the only way I can put it in there alright by the time it charges up that should have soaked in some so I'll be back again alright I'm back with discharge number 20 or 19 not 20 and we are at 0 0.894 0 0.895 this switch alright so we're going to test it right there 0 0.895 see whether we, we were out of water or what alright there we go and three, two, one, thirty-two. So I don't see that the water helped it any. It just went down a little bit more. So thirty-two milliamps at eight nine four. And I think I'm gonna quit right there filming anyway. I gotta edit this video, so I will. Uh, I'll run a couple more runs on it so we get a few more data points and then I'll put that at the end after I've got the video edited alright I'll be back alright I'm back with a wrap up here's our data our volts and amps for 20 cycles and I uh, multiplied those together and got a milliwatts uh, power uh, rating for each cycle and then I got milliwatts <coughs> on this side of our uh, chart and then the cycles across the bottom down here and there's the graph right there and you can see that it pretty much climbed it was still climbing uh, at the end so we really don't know where this thing's going to go but <coughs> it definitely got better I mean there was a few little jumps around and stuff in there but and here's where I added the uh, the water couple drops of water to it and sh bam it shot right back up so uh, anyway there's the there's the data on that and for 20 cycles and you can see it's still it's still climbing and growing and getting stronger so there you have it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time